Family members say they are disappointed in the sentence of a woman who admitted to drinking before hitting two young teens with her car along a Niagara County road. News 4's Nalina Shapiro was in the courtroom this morning and brings us the latest. Nalina. Victoria, inside the Niagara County courtroom, Amy Shoemaker sobbed and said she was sorry over and over again for hitting two young teens with her car last May on a Lockport road. Her remorse impacted the judge's final decision, but her tears didn't mean much to one family whose son was in a coma for about a month after being struck. Today, however, a recovering 15-year-old Anthony San Marco was in court standing next to his mother almost a year after being struck and suffering a terrible brain injury. Last May, Anthony and his friend, 13-year-old Christian Schufelt, were walking along Dysinger Road on a rainy evening when they were struck. Schumacher was drunk and texting her babysitter on her way home. Both boys right now are out of the hospital recovering, but Anthony still struggles. He can't take his bipolar medication because of his head injury and struggles in school on a daily basis. Schumacher could have spent anywhere from 5 to 15 years in jail, but because her, she herself is a mother and she was remorseful from the beginning, the judge sentenced her to five years probation and weekends in jail for four months. That decision didn't set well, sit well with Anthony's family. It's not enough. It's not. It's not fair. I felt she should have been away from her children for a little while to really feel what my family and Christian's family had went through. And this woman got off pretty easy, and hopefully it doesn't stay like that. You know, not everybody gets off that easy like that because they could. She could have killed these two boys. Now, inside the courtroom, the judge drew comparisons to Dr. Corisanti's high-profile trial in Schumacher's case. The judge says she showed remorse from the beginning, and the judge says that impacted her sentence in the end. Reporting live, Nalina Shapiro, News 4 at noon.